Yeah, how, how am I looking? I'm good, I'm solid. Is there a thing we can like put it on? I wish you could see what I'm doing right now. I We're gonna talk about it in a minute, oh, yeah. <laughs> once you figure it out. You're gonna get Tam sanitizer all over your phone. No, we're gonna, we're gonna figure something out. Can you see me? I mean, you should stick to football because I don't know if this whole like TV production camera guy thing. I have a I have a box. I have a hand sanitizer station, and I have a chair. It's all helping. You need some duct tape, a couple of rubber bands, and chewing gum, and you can make it all work somehow. Time this time, throw it over the middle. Kendricks diving for it. He's got the pick. Eric Kendricks with the interception. Thirty-three points down. How are you feeling? Honestly, like. At halftime, I remember I, I remember just thinking, like, you know, my mom came in to visit this week, you know what I mean? And uh, she's in the stands watching. Um, we gotta do something different, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta band together. You know, obviously we knew we knew what the situation was, but we had to just really take it. I, it's cliche, but we really had to take it one step at a time, you know, because uh nothing was gonna get done the way we were doing it the first half. You were legit on the field thinking about your mom. I, I remember I remember just like right the seconds before going into halftime being like, damn, my mom's here. I gotta fix it. And the Minnesota Vikings have completed the greatest comeback in the history of the National Football League. Eric, you were really in post game. I've, I've listened to it several times, full of feeling. But that second one, man, that second one, that was so hard to come back from. Are you surprised at how emotional you were? Honestly, I'm not. I'm a very emotional person, you know what I mean? And I'm not really surprised when I look back at it, but in the time, I feel like I was just so deep into my my thoughts and my feelings and um, just just my just the joy of, you know, doing that with my teammates. And it was it was a special moment. I know that um, especially in this league, uh, wins are hard to come by and, and, you know, winning the North is hard to come by. I just wanted to take advantage of it and, and make sure that my teammates knew, especially the young ones, how special this moment really was. What'd your mama say? <laughs> my mom was happy, you know, um, obviously. Uh, we gotta get a win when she comes in town. Um, but, you know, it, that and that's, you know, that, that's what kind of made me emotional about it. I feel like is, you know, this is a game that I've played that I've wanted to play since I was a kid. And, you know, just seeing my mom's work ethic growing up and, um, you know, me trying to emulate her work ethic and, and, and work hard at this sport, you know, sometimes that gets overlooked and, you know, you, you work so hard during the week and you and you and you grind with your teammates and, you know, you put your body through all this and um, to sit back and enjoy a win how we just had. That's 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 the really the culmination of everything. And that's why I, I got emotional, because I was really just smelling the flower, flowers in that moment. OK, so here's the lesson to Kevin O'Connell. Get your mom to every game. <laughs> <laughs> because no, I don't want. I no, no. You know what? Like, if it, if it's like that every game, you know, maybe she needs to stay sometimes because you know we've been doing good other times. Congratulations, NFC North champ, champ. For the first time in five years, the Vikings win the NFC North. It is hard to win. That is a tough division. You said that NFL games are hard to play. So, at this point in your career, how important was that to you? It was it was huge, you know. That was that when we when we set goals at the beginning of the season. That was the first goal that we set. So um, to say it wasn't it wasn't big deal, you know, it, it's a lie. You know, it definitely was a huge deal. Um, but now that we you know we we we've, we've completed that, we've got that we've got that done. We need to lock in for the rest of the remainder of the season and um, um, figure out what we got to do, you know, to 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 keep to keep this thing rolling. As as an NFC North champion, what would you like to say to Aaron Rodgers? To Aaron Rodgers. Uh huh. I don't know, maybe just like, you know, take a look at some of the stuff he may have said earlier. You know, just like all the other teams in the NFC North, it seems like every single year, uh, you know, I think their fan base and their teams feel like this is our year to win the North. Hasn't really been the case during my time for the most part. You know, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> talking. I'm more about that action, so. <laughs> I'm more about that action. I love it. I want to talk about your quarterback. Enough about Aaron Rodgers. Seven fourth quarter comebacks for Cousins. Who is this guy? <laughs> Man, I, 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 I've said this since since we got Kirk on the squad. Uh, but people love to hate Kirk for some reason, and the guy is is so he's so tough. First of all, you know what I mean. He's he's mentally very strong. Uh, he, he goes to the beat of his own drum, and that's what I love about him. You know, the confidence he has uh, this year is is amazing, and we're all following where he where he's going. 
does he know all the like how the people think he's corny or whatever does he know that and just not care and like this because to me i'm like he has to know this and then i think he just sort of feeds into it even more which i love yeah i, I feel like he he embraces every bit of himself and it's not the fact that you know you know um he it's what everybody else thinks no no it's you know he knows who he is at, at, in his heart and he's okay with that. And that's how I feel like everybody should be. Are you saying that Kirk Cousins, 2022 Kirk Cousins, NFC North champion Kirk Cousins, who he really is, is this guy wearing Kirko chains without a shirt no, on? But it's the it's the fact that everybody's like so surprised by it. And it's like, this yeah. isn't the Kirk we know, but it's like, he's playing off that and he's just having fun with it. I love that yeah. part about it. Do you have a New Year's resolution you're thinking about? I want to get better at Spanish. Okay. How good are I you? I said it. I said it, so I have to like kind of like work towards that now for sure. So I hold you to it. How, okay. Do you speak Spanish fluently? Mm, no. No. Do you speak Spanish at all? Poquito. <laughs> Pequeño. Más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. What makes you want to learn? Um, I think it's just a great tool to have. Uh, you know, obviously, I've, I'm in. I live in California. Um, but, was born and raised there so obviously i have a ton of friends who speak spanish and um i just i just always wanted to do it and i've never done it so here i am i love that uh, and the crowd will go nuts with booze this is a stadium and a team in search of momentum the minnesota fan base is one of the most tortured fan bases in the nfl they deserve a win they show up they hit you with that skull chant it literally gives me goosebumps when i see it them some wins yeah no doubt and i think that it's it it really is a testament to our fans especially this last week when we were down like that by that much you know if 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 we were in if we were in la if we were in any you know a bunch of other places the stadium would have been a lot you know a lot yes a lot less people in the stadium so our fans stuck it through and they were there to see the to see the greatest uh come back in history giants weird team streaky never know what you're gonna get sometimes they're great sometimes they're not great but they do, I mean, they have Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. Those are the two guys. What kind of a threat does Daniel Jones pose to? He's a sneaky athlete. If things get things get uh, sketchy on third down, he could he has ability to take off, use his legs to his ability as well. Good luck and thank, great job on turning it around and making history. And really congrats to your mom because she's the reason it happened. That's what I learned here today. Thank, thank God for mom. Thank God for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Eric, I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Bye.